you need to go buy this. This is banging. This is so good. You need to go buy it now. <laughs> Hello, you beautiful people. Hello and welcome back to my channel and hello and welcome if you're new. I'm Lucy Stevenson, but you can call me Luce because we're all friends here. If you are new, please don't forget to hit subscribe and please give this video a thumbs up because it really does help out my channel and turn that notification bell on. At the moment, we're in the middle of doing a friend series where I'm putting to the test one of the new Revolution and Friends palettes every single day until we get to the end of them, basically. Yesterday, we did Chandler's one and I turned myself into a very beautiful Tango Ice Blast kind of vibe so I'll leave that linked it down below if you want to check it out and the day before that I did a haul of everything that I picked up from the collection today is an even more exciting video because it's actually a collab with my amazing beautiful little cherub of an angel makeup Alex K on YouTube oh, I can't even speak out because I'm just I just love her so much there's not even enough words for how much I love this girl. She is one of my Patreons. I'm one of her Patreons. We talk all the time. I just absolutely adore her to pieces. So we are collabing on the We Were On A Break palette. This is like the Forever Flawless range that Make Revolution do and they brought out two of them for this friend collection, drop number three. I will leave all my videos linked down below of me trying them other palettes in case you're wondering what they're like, if you wanna buy them all that kind of good stuff. This one retails for £12 and this is the more colourful one from the two. I also have obviously the other one which is more neutral which will be coming in a couple of days time. But look at this. She is gorgeous. Let's do some swatches. Let's get this on my eyeballs. Let's look amazing. I'm going for my Covid jab, my second one, after I film this. So let's just look beautiful when I go get my vaccine. Let's go. So this is the first two rows of the palette. We have Cat, which is basically the same colour as my skin. Then we have Cheesecake, Secret Closet, Game of Cups, Tea Leaves, New York, Sofa, Foosball, Closure, Big Opening, Big Break, and then Fireball. The shimmers in this palette, unbelievable. The formula in this palette, unbelievable. Let's do the last row. And then for the last row, we have Chick, Duck, Bracelet, Love Machine, Apartment, and Porsche. You all know the drill by now, prepping with the P. Louise base in the shade room at number two, and I'm gonna tap it in a place with the Peaches and Cream PC, oh, you dropped it then, PC18 brush. I will also leave Alex's channel linked down below too, so you can go watch her video of what she does with this palette because she is unreal at eye looks. Like, I just wish she would teach me how to do a cut crease perfectly because hers are just unreal. So I will leave Alex's linked down below as well. And I know Megan, my friend Megan, who's one of my patrons as well, she did a look yesterday on this palette, which looked unbelievable. So I'll leave hers linked down below as well because the more the merrier, you know? We gotta support each other on this on this platform. So like I said, this is the We Wanna Break palette. Retails are £12 from the Forever Flawless range. I can spit my words out. Beautiful. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go for one kind of colour scheme on one eye, one colour scheme on the other eye, just so that we're using as many colours as possible. So this is kind of the little inspiration that I did on my hand to see if this would work. So I think what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to do the yellow, orange, pink on this side and then the green, the yet what is that? Green, blue, purple on this side. Let's go. So I'm going to start with the yellow which is called bracelet and I'm just using just a little tiny kind of pencil brush from Morphe. Hasn't got an, like a number or anything on it. I think it's like a, a cheap set that my mum got me for Christmas where they don't come with any numbers. And I'm going to start by putting this in the inner part of the eye. I need to remember that I'm not doing both the eyes the same so that I don't do it the same by accident. And then going in with a bit of a bigger brush, this is a Morphe M507, I absolutely love these brushes. And we're gonna take this into the orange, which is in the shade Fireball, this one up here. So taking that orange, I'm gonna start blending it a little bit into that yellow. And then this is gonna take up the next kind of third of the crease. So now that we've got that down, I'm gonna go in with an even bigger fluffier brush. This is a Spectrum A12 brush. And we're gonna go into the Love Machine shade, which is this like bright pink here. I'm still got like a, a colorful palette with this. I feel like it's just so different and exciting. And I'm gonna basically just blend that in, but this is also gonna be, I'm gonna flick it out like we did yesterday's one for the Chandler palette. because I think that just looks the best kind of shape. 
And this is also going to be all on this outer part of the, the lid as well. So I'm just going to lightly pack that on. I'm not building up the colour too much yet because I just want to get my placement down at the moment and then we can always blend and then build back up again. Okay, so now that we've got it to that kind of intensity and the shape that I want, we're going to move on to the other eye. So, again, taking a very kind of small little pencil brush. This is for the inner third. This is the Morphe M149 brush. Absolutely love this brush as well. I used, I think I used two of them yesterday, in yesterday's look, I think. And this eye, we're going to go for the more greeny side of it. So we're going to go for this one to begin with in Big Bray. And same as the other eye, I'm going to start building this on the inner third of the crease and just kind of making it into the shape that I want. Not packing too much kind of shadow into it because I just want to make sure that I'm getting that shape right to begin with because then hopefully it'll make my cut crease a little bit easier. We shall hope and pray. <laughs> I feel like that green isn't as pigmented as what I would have liked but I don't mind it being a little bit lighter because then it makes the inner corner kind of brighten up a bit. Then we're going to take another one of the Morphe M507 brushes, but a clean one. And we're going to go in with the shade Foosball, which is the blue in the palette. I love, by the way, the colour story of this palette because you've got like a dark blue and a light blue to blend it out with. So you could do a blue look and you've also got a blue glitter. You've got a dark purple and a light purple to blend it out with, but you also have a purple glitter. You've got a dark pink and a light pink. You could also use that really as a pink glitter as well as a purple one. And then you've got um, a yellow that you can use with that one. You've got an orange and an orange and you can use that with that one. I just feel like it's just such a nice array of colours. Like there's a lot of different looks that you could get from this one palette. So taking that foosball, I'm going to try and look straight ahead so that I'm getting it kind of similar Oh my god, this is pigmented to the shape of my other eye. I'm starting a little bit lower because then obviously I can always take it up a little bit. Oh, that looks beautiful. And I'm going to leave the blue like that for now because I will make it a little bit higher, but I want to get the outer corner done first to make sure that it's all going to kind of line up together. And for the outer corner, we're going to go in with the purple, which is apartment classic. And I'm just going to be taking a, just a fluffy brush that I got off eBay, just a cheap one. And this is what I'm going to be using for the apartment shade. And I'm going to pack this into the outer corner. So same as what I've done on the pink on um, that side, I'm going to do the exact same with this purple. And then I'm just going to go back and adjust the shape so it's a little bit higher and a bit more blown out like what we've done on this side. And then I'll come back after I've cut the crease. So that is the cut crease is done. I'm just adding the purple and the pink to the outer corner to blend the cut crease in and to kind of deepen this outer corner back up again as well. So starting with this eye first, I'm going to begin by putting some of Porsche, is that how you say it? Porsche, um, all over the kind of inner part and then we're going to blend it into a little bit of duck as well. So we've kind of got it matching like a bit of yellow glitter and a bit of um, orange glitter or well, shimmer. So that is the yellow shimmer packed on, really, really easy to work with, a lot easier than the shimmers in the, in the Chandler one yesterday. And then I'm going to go in with a bit of a bigger fluffier brush to apply the next shade. I think, to be fair, I think I need like a small, different kind of bristle brush to apply these. Yeah, that's a bit better. Do you know what? Let's just use my finger. I'm too lazy for this building up business. <laughs> Well, I'm not going to lie, I'm obsessed with how that looks. Because the orange has like a reflective of like a yellow in it as well, you can kind of see it on my finger there. It just goes so well blended in with that kind of brighter yellow shimmer. Oh, obsessed. So for this eye, I did start putting on a little bit of the tea leaves. But I think what I'm going to do, because I've wiped a little bit of it off, I'm going to go in with Secret Closet, because it's kind of like a goldeny greeny colour and I'm going to put that right in the inner corner of the eye and then I'm going to blend it into tea leaves and then I'm going to blend it into the blue shimmer which is chick. So I'm just taking that more golden one first. I just feel like it'll brighten up the inner corner and it'll also help to make it match obviously the other side which is more yellow. So I think it'll just tie it together really nicely. So then I'm going to take some of the tea leaves. I'm just going to use my finger to apply this. This is so pigmented. It's gonna blend so nicely into that cheek. Oh, it's a cheek? No, chick. <laughs> shade. And then taking the shade Chick, which is the blue, to obviously blend into the blue that's above. 
so it's all matchy matchy and that'll blend in perfectly with that purple the apartment shade I absolutely love how this has turned out. I'm going to finish off the rest of my makeup and I'll be back with you in a second. So this is the look with the rest of my makeup on. I am obsessed with how this has turned out. I've actually just been and got my COVID jab uh, and then came back to finish off the rest of this video. I am just so impressed with this palette. So much better than yesterday's one and I really like the Chandler palette but this one just the formula was just different. It just hit different and I'm so glad that they did like the Flavor Flawless kind of two palettes in this range because it, it's just banging. Okay, thank you so 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 much for watching. If you want to recreate this look please tag me. I'd absolutely love that because I just think it looks banging. I'm not gonna lie, I think it looks so good. Please don't forget to check out Alex's one. I've actually just seen the sneaky preview before I went and got my um, COVID jab of what hers looks like and hers looks unbelievable. Like, so, so, so good. So please go check out hers. Um, it'll be linked down below and also Megan's that I mentioned earlier on as well. Thank you so much for watching. And I will see you tomorrow for a brand new palette put into the test. Let me know which palette you want me to do tomorrow because I don't actually know which one I'm going to do just yet. So please let me know. Help me decide. We have Ross's palette left. We have the Forever Flawless Mon Nude kind of one. And we also have um, Joy's palette left as well. I'm so proud of myself for this look. I know I keep saying it. But I think it looks beautiful.